A ninth grader in Bartow County almost hit by a truck as she boarded her school bus. The school bus driver thought really quickly slammed on the horn as soon as they saw what was going on, alerting the teenager who jumped out of the way just in time. Today, the Bartow County Sheriff honored that bus driver and announced that deputies have arrested the truck driver who nearly hit the teenager. Joe Hankey's in the newsroom after talking with the bus driver and the teen's mother today. Joe, how did the girl's mother react after seeing that video of her daughter? I, I cannot imagine. Made my heart sink and it's not my child. It made mine sink too, Cheryl. She told me she immediately broke down crying after watching the video. And when her daughter came home from school, she also broke down. The bus driver says during seven years of driving with Bartow County Schools, other drivers have blown past her stop sign, but never like this. Driving Bartow County School Bus 198 is routine for Shannon Bakes. And on the morning of August 20th, Banks drove down Young Road to pick up 15 year old Candace Vaughn. As soon as I motioned her across here, I looked in this mirror and the car was coming flying. And all I could do was honk the horn. With her stop sign out and lights on, Banks honked the horn and Vaughn jumped as a truck blew past. Banks called her supervisors who notified the Bartow County Sheriff's Office. It all happened in front of Vaughn's home. It, it stops right there, right there in front of my mailbox, sir. As the Sheriff's Office began investigating, they showed the teen's mother the video. I broke down and cried, and I was thanking God that, you know, she's okay, and God was watching over her that day, and the bus driver was responding, and she was responding to the bus driver. Very, very close. The closest call ever for Banks. But luckily, everybody was paying attention. Today, Sheriff Clark Millsap called a press conference to honor Banks. You went above and beyond the call when your actions prevented one of Bartow County students from being run over by a passing motorist as she boarded your bus. Tragedy avoided, but Banks keeps replaying the near miss in her head. I think about if I hadn't got it in time, if I would saw her get hit, it would have been traumatic experience for all of us. This morning, deputies arrested 42-year-old Blake Tyson Lockwood. Can't tell me that you didn't see that big old yellow bus there with the red signs. Um, everybody else stopped. Millsap says witnesses and video helped investigators track down Lockwood and his truck. He is charged with eight misdemeanors, including reckless driving, failure to stop for a school bus, and tampering with evidence. Now the teen's mother has a simple message for Banks. I just want to tell her thank you for, you know, being there and honking the horn and watching out for her. And Shannon Banks says while drivers need to stop for school bus stop signs, she also wants students to watch their bus driver for any directions when crossing the street. The sheriff says that the truck driver is also charged with tampering with evidence after he removed his truck's tag and battery in an attempt to show the truck was never being driven. Cheryl. Wow, it's an incredible story. Thank you, Joe.